Hey, what's up guys? This is Justin at wingsound.com. In this video, you'll learn how to check your system's usage. I'm doing this in Pro Tools, but you can do this with any music production software of your choice. Let's check it out. Okay, so let's say you're working with some kind of DAW, Pro Tools, Logic, Ableton, Reason, etc. You know, sometimes these programs can use up a lot of your system's, you know, CPU and its resources. So what you can do is you can monitor these things. So if you're working with a Mac computer, just go down to the finder, go to applications, scroll down to utilities, and open up activity monitor. So now here, it's going to show you how your computer is being used by all of these programs, you know, how the resources are being used. So you can scroll down and try and find whatever DAW you're working with example pro tools here or what you could do is go to the top right corner make sure it says all processes and then search in the little search window over here whatever DAW you're using and there you go so you know and then it tells you how much CPU it's using the memory the virtual memory and you know you can check at the bottom as well CPU system memory disk activity disk usage and network now another thing that you could do is go to the window drop down menu and go to CPU usage or command 2. You know, and it'll show you your cores on how the system is being used by Pro Tools, which is really cool. Now another thing you could do is what I have on this bottom left corner right here, this little meter right here, that's also the CPU usage meter. Now it's great because it stays in front of whatever programs you're using. So as you can see, I click on Pro Tools and, you know, I could do whatever I need to do in Pro Tools and I still have the little CPU usage meter right over here. Now, what you can also do is you can change it if you go down to the window drop down menu, floating CPU window, and you could change it vertically or horizontally. It's vertical and you could choose not to show it at all. But it's great to keep it right there, you know, you could move it around as well if you just click on it and drag it around somewhere that's better for you to see it visually. And, you know, you can avoid errors within Pro Tools, you know, for, you know, HW buffer size, stuff like that, you know, because you'll know how Pro Tools is using the resources within your computer and, you know, the CPU. And, you know, let's say you got too much going on, you could hide and make inactive some of your tracks to lower the CPU usage or, you know, delete some plugins here and there and just bring them back later. It's really great. You can always get in touch with Justin at Winksound.com and check out more of Justin's videos, including these titles featuring the new Pro Tools 8, now available on demand at Winksound.com.